Hi lovely water signs, welcome to Joy Energy Tarot, I'm Jenny. This is your intuitive reading for July the 24th right through till the 31st and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, there's little individual messages for you all at the end. Right. Oh, this is such a great reading. Some of you, if you're looking for love, you've got the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups, so this is fabulous. Okay, for the rest of you who aren't looking for love, you've got the beginning of new joy, happiness, feeling wonderful. Some of you might have news of a baby too. But this, so this is where um, whatever you're doing, you might be working on something, and actually the clarifier for it is working independently. So for some of you, you might be working independently and absolutely loving it. So this is like the beginning of new happiness and joy. And this is the card of independence. So for some of you who might be a bit hesitant about working for yourself or doing things on your own, even though you're in a relationship, it's fine. You've got what it takes to do these things. And Spirit's telling you, it's okay to go off and do something on your own, but still be in a relationship. And for you singles, you've got what it takes if you're hesitating about trying something new. And right next to that, if it is to do with a business or doing something new, you've got the sun card. So this is, look at it, absolute joy and happiness right next to that. So something that you guys are starting next week, although there's no time in the spirit world, something you're doing is going to happen that's really uplifting and joyous and positive and that's fantastic. So if you're thinking of something that you, you wanted to do and you're trying to work out yes or no, the answer is definitely a yes. And I feel for some of you, that's going to help you overcome something. So you might be dithering, you're trying to make up your mind about something, you've got your guard up and your protection around yourself, you don't know if you want to know someone in spirit um, who's close to you, guides you and looks after you. So there's some sort of decision to be made and it's going to make you feel very happy and very positive. And then next to that too, you've got the three of pentacles. So this is where you're working in conjunction with other people. So you might be waiting for the results to come in from something creative that you've been working on, or you're working with other people to create something new and you're, wanting them, you're waiting for the money to come in. And for others of you, you're being creative with your money. And this is going to make you feel very happy. There's the lovely water sign, Queen of Cups. She is like now feeling contented. Whatever you've been doing is making you feel very happy and very contented. You're in touch with your intuition. So people can come to you and give you, ask you for advice and you are quite capable of giving them the right answers. People see you as motherly, kind, caring, and you're very generous. And then you've got this two of... Um, two of uh, cups so it's quite funny because it's clarified by the ten of swords so the two of cups is where you're meeting new people who can be a soulmate or you've known them in a past life or you've been together with them before in a past life so this can be a family member a friend a work colleague or a lover okay for those of you in relationships this is where your relationship is work, uh, moving forward to the next level for some of you, it might be news of a baby too. And this is all going to bring about the ending of the worrying. So you've been overthinking something. It's been keeping you awake at night. Well, that's over now. Dead, done, dusted, finished, over. Goodbye. Yahoo. Thank God for that. And then covering the whole um, reading, you've got the two of pentacles here. So this is where you're juggling things. You're, you're finished um, a phase in your life. You're moving on to that next phase. The world's your oyster. And you're trying to work out what you want to do. You're being, again, you've got two twos. You're being given choices. Could be two jobs, two houses, um, two careers, or two, you're juggling two things. But you're trying to make a decision about where you're going next. And then you come up with a brilliant idea. Whoa, overcoming all the odds, all the adversity in your past. Um, all the scars, the things that went wrong, you have come up, you're coming up with a creative new plan and idea. And I think it's because too, your emotions have been going like this. You've been up and down. This is a Pisces card. It's about seeing through the illusions that are put in front of you, um, being able to break through those illusions. And just remember your emotions go up and down like the moon. It's temporary. If you're feeling down, you're going to feel up again. This is where you come up with great new plans and ideas. And it's funny that that's the way I always read it. And it's right next to the Ace of Swords. Because this is when your intuition is spot on. It's at its best. You know, you could be awake having fanc uh, fanciful uh, dreams too that give you these ideas. <coughs> so follow them. And then you've got the Prince of Wands. And news coming in. 
something you've been waiting for, news, um, offer, invitation, something you've been hanging around waiting for, this gives you um, the uh, energy to get on with things, to plan something, it could be to do with travelling, you're ready for your ne next adventure and you've got the energy to do it. Here you are rising up out of the ashes, being successful. So this is you guys either taking control of your life, uh, manning up, you are in control. Look at the lovely rewards. You've got the energy, you're feeling fantastic, you're feeling on top of the world. This could be somebody around you like that that's helping you and leading you. And you've got the star card, so look at that. Isn't that lovely? Dreams are about to come true. Focus on your dreams. Focus on what you want. Tell your angels and guides, and they will help it, help you to make it happen. Because I feel that some of you have been let down in the past. Um, you, you could have been stabbed in the back, stolen from, things like that. But this is a seven. Overcome your fears and move forward. Learn from your lessons. Now you're ready to break free. So some of you could be moving house or moving um, jobs or something like that. But for all of you, it's changing your way you look at everything because you've got way more cards that um, overcome this sort of thing. And I think that's why you've got the dream card or the best wishes card. Dreams Coming True card is right next to that. So you've learned your lessons and this overrides it. You're now taking, you're taking that knowledge with you so no one can rip you off, um, tell you rubbish again in the future. And now for Pisces, you've got Stay Home. Your energy and inspiration are scattered in the wind like fairy dust. Time to stay home for a while and focus on getting some things accomplished. Okay, so you might be away with the fairies a bit and you might need to ground yourself. So you go outside and bare feet and plant yourself on Mother Earth with bare feet to get ground and get your energy back in alignment. And you've got soulmates. Soulmates are important people who teach you life lessons. They can be friends, lovers and family members. So we've got that in the reading. So your soulmate is around you or you're about to meet them. Cancer, you found it. Yes, this is what you've been waiting for. Embrace this option as it will bring you growth and positive new energy for your future. So good luck with that, Cancer, whatever it is. And you've got energy. Try to keep a positive energy by surrounding yourself with positive energy. Get away from those naysayers who tell you, don't do that. Okay, and Scorpio, you've got unveiling. It's time to come out and be your true, authentic self. Fly free. There's no point in hiding your light any longer. Step up, stand tall, and walk in your power. Okay, uh, Scorpio, and you've got that in the reading too, that you're definitely coming out, stand, manning up, I call it. It doesn't matter what gender. You know, taking control, being the, the best you that you can be. And you've got goals, so it's time for you to take your goals off the back burner and go for it. Just go and do it. Okay, lovelies, I appreciate every one of you. Uh, my Facebook page, I've lost about 400 followers, so if you'd like to share this with any friends or let people know um, that they can still watch this on YouTube. So anyway, thank you so much. Have a lovely, lovely week. See you all again. Ka kiri anō. Bye.